Hi, my name is Joe. As the business is growing, we may need more network port to connect the new IP device such like this for this computer, access point, sometimes even the IP camera. The first solution is we can wire the new cable from the switch to each of the location we, where we want to place the new device. But sometimes it could present a challenge, especially we need to do the construction while still need to keep the business running. Is there any solution we can just reuse the existing Ethernet cable to expand the network port without requiring the new cable? Let's find out in this video. This is an IP camera. You can see we have the Ethernet cable coming from the switch at the center. And I would like to reuse this Ethernet cable to expand the network port. In this case, we don't need to rewire the new cable from the switch for the new IP device. In order to do this, we need to use another switch. This switch looks quite similar as the regular switch, except this switch has one feature, it can power by another switch. What's that supposed to mean? I think let me just make the connection to explain it will be more easier to understand. Okay, first thing I'm going to hook up this switch to the thing rate. Now I just need to get the cable from the camera and plug to the port number 8. Now once I plug in, I can see all the indicators on, that means the switch is working. The PoE power switch can be powered by another switch at the center and also provide the data. Now what I need to do next is just use this short punch code to link the camera back to this switch so we get the video back. I can pick any of the port. I can see the indicated port number 2 is on, that means the switch is supplying the power to the camera. Just wait for a while before we can see live video on the monitor. Totally, we got 6 additional ports we can work with the new IP device. This switch using the PoE technology, you may wonder whether it's safety or not. And after all, they, they are power inverted. I can tell you, the PoE switch is completely safe for the PoE and non-PoE equipment. Let's just say, test with this Mac. The Mac doesn't need the power, right? It just needs the data. We can just plug, plug to any of the port. No worry. Plug in, I can see the indicators on, that means the switch is providing data to the MacBook. So why PoE technology is saved? The reason is there, there always a power hand shaking. I mean, before the switch release the power to the edge device, like this PC computer, it will detect and verify whether your edge device need the power or not. If you don't need the power, it will just send the data. OK, now we also can connect other PoE devices, such like the access point. Right, you can connect. This is the PoE access point from Cisco. It supports PoE. So we don't need the power. It's going to power the access point through this switch. Also, we also can connect to the like this VoIP phone. It will be fine. The VoIP phone also supports PoE. Once I plug in, I can see all the indicators on. That means the VoIP phone is getting power from the switch. I think there's still one question you may wonder whether the power source is enough or not if we hook up all the port with the PoE power device such like the IP camera access point. In this case, you may really need to consider the power source from your switch. If you're just using like the PoE Plus, which only can output 30 watt maximum, that may be not enough if you connect all the port with the IP camera. In that case, you can use the high power PoE injector, like the 90 watt high power injector, it can supply 90 watt and send it through single cable, Ethernet cable. Then it will be enough to power all your IP camera. All right, that will be all today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.